Mahathishim Abdul Ghani Sahab is a name that would linger for a long time in the collective memory of the people of Bhatkal and its surrounding places. Perhaps only a few practiced the entrepreneurship and philanthropy on a scale he did. A brilliant businessman and a tireless worker, Ghani Sahab left a deep imprint of his character, integrity and sincerity on every speck of the town. Ghani Sahab was born in Bhatkal 11 years before the nation gained independence. It so happened that he had to leave for treatment to Madras when he was just five years old. He stayed put in Madras where his father, Abu Muhammad Mohtasham ibn M. A. Mohideen Sahib was engaged in hand loan business. The young Ghani got enrolled in fourth standard at the Muhammadan High School, Madras and went on to finish F.A. that is Fellow of Arts, a level equivalent to today's pre-university course. Muslim high school, bunu, hot, Mambran high school. They will tell you about the same admission. I get the thing at test again on the class of students that come along and do it. Magatoti with the letter. The seeds of leadership could be seen sprouting in him even while in school. Past his FA, he joined the SRK firm to learn the ropes in the world of business. He was appointed the deputy secretary of the Batkal Muslim Association in Chennai. However, his maiden independent venture was the Madurai Darbar restaurant with partnership in Chennai. The stint in Chennai was enough to endow him with skill and expertise in business. Before he set his eyes upon Vijayawada, he had a makeshift canteen at a mela in Nellore, a town in Andhra Pradesh. His skill in hospitality received the first stamp of credibility in Vijayawada. He had discovered his self-worth and found himself confident of charting his own course. Thereafter, there was no looking back. He opened a series of canteens, bakeries and restaurants in Nellore, Vijayawada, Hyderabad with partnerships. <laughs> They opened a canteen in Vijayawada's Naurang Theatre which was a resounding success followed by the iconic Navran Bakery in Vijayawada in 1964. Success spurred him and partners to open another unit of the same on Congress Office Road in Governor Pet. Shortly thereafter, they came up with a new modern supermarket. Today, the grand modern supermarket on the swanky MG Road of Vijayawada is managed by Fayaz and Fawad, his two sons. Ghani Sahab was instrumental in creating the Andhra Nawayat Fund. Several community entrepreneurs took up business ventures with its assistance. His forays into Andhra Pradesh did not severe his ties with Bhatkal. During his frequent visits to the town, he would take active interest in the activities of Anjuman Hamiya Muslimin, the organization which today presides over a string of educational institutions. Activities that are not the in fact, he was inducted into the Anjuman's Executive Committee in 1954 when he was just 18. The Anjuman appointed him Vice President in 1980, the year the Anjuman Engineering College came up. His constant efforts along with late S.M. Yahya Sahib and D.S. Shabbar Sahib led to the engineering college occupying a pride of place in the state. Though he was a vice president during those years, he presided over Anjuman meetings and events because the president was based outside Bhatkal during that time. 
डेलीगेट्स सारे हिंदुस्तान से यहाँ आए हुए हैं और ऐसे ऐसे जिम्मेदार हैं मैं जिनके नाम लूँ तो यहाँ स्टेज पे बैठे हुए लोगों से भी बड़े बड़े आदमी और उनके मुकाबले के आदमी भी सामने बैठे हुए हैं लेकिन आज उनका प्रोग्राम नहीं है उनके प्रोग्राम में उनका सही तारुफ भी हो जाएगा और सही इस्तबाल भी हो जाएगा लेकिन आज मैं एक जनरल इस्तबाल आप सब लोगों का जितने भी डेलीगेट्स बाहर से आए हैं He was an acclaimed educationist, fired by high ideals, a visionary with practical approach. Little wonder then Gani Sahab was chosen the president of Anjuman for 2003 to 2008 term. He won this place due to his extraordinary dedication for the Anjuman and fiery zeal with which he could execute the work. He has been an inherent part of the development process of the organization for more than 5 decades. The organization had presented him a Sipas Nama that is a citation hailing outstanding services to Anjuman and the community. His pragmatic approach won him appreciation of one and all. As a tribute to his selfless services to Anjuman, the organization named the entrance gate of the Anjuman Abad after him. Though focused more on Anjuman, he also spared time and attention for Majlis Lahore Tanzim, Jamaatul Muslimin, Jamia Islamia, Jamia Tus Salihat, Abul Hasan Ali Nadwi Islamic Academy, and other organizations. Non-Muslim individuals and organizations in Bhatkal and the district looked to him to take forward varied causes and campaign. He pursued lofty values that are bulwark of any successful individual. It was a proud moment for the community when he was conferred the membership of the Senate of the Aligat Muslim University. He also served as member of the Shura of the All India Muslim Personal Law Board and the Darul Uloom Nadwatul Ulama a member of the Southern Railway Users Consultative Committee and represented the region's grievances and issues to the authorities. On an individual plane, he pursued with passion travelling cricket and poetry. He would host people without any regard to their caste, community and faith. The throng of people at his residence opposite the Noor Masjid on National Highway 66 was taken as an index of his presence in the town. Ghani Sahab departed this mortal world on March 27, 2008. His funeral drew a large crowd of mourners cutting across the communities. The Anjuman and other key organizations held a meeting to pay a tribute to this legendary leader of Bhatkal. Ghani Sahab's legacy of service, struggle and sacrifice would continue to inspire the youth.